How's it going everyone? Welcome back to some more Calamity Death Mode. Today we have a little bit of grinding to do. I've already done a tiny bit off screen and that was just defeating the pillars and then killing Moon Lord then summoning one more. So we have two treasure bags here. We might need to do more. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. I just realized we didn't actually get... There's a weapon that you can get from Moon Lord, right? And it's... A rogue weapon and it looks pretty interesting I think I want to grind for it it's gonna take a while but I think it is worth to kind of showcase that weapon off so now I'm gonna get these meld bars and we should be able to get the Zerak armor oh no because we need more ectoplasm <laughs> oh, no okay good come on oh that's probably not gonna be enough how much was it per oh it's just one Okay, maybe, maybe. Oh, nope. <laughs> nope, we need more ectoplasm. Okay, that's fine. All right, that should be good for the ectoplasm. So we can check really quick here. We'll make the rest of this and then we'll do the meld bars. Oh. Oh, now we're out of hollow... Okay. Alright, well, fair enough. I don't think so. Ooh! Ooh, I like that. I haven't seen the twins since they updated it. That looks really cool, though. <laughs> yeah, the flames. Ooh, and this shoots... Okay. I like that. That's really cool, actually. <laughs> I'm, I'm digging the new twins. Alright, there we go. Twins have been defeated. So, we'll just take the... I don't care for anything but the hollowed bars. Now, we should be able to get the Zurich armor. Hopefully. There should be everything. And then there's one more upgrade from... Or Moon Lord related. I guess two more. If you include the weapon I was talking about. I haven't actually showed it yet. So, I'll do that right... Oops. Right after. So, mask. Chest piece and these okay we have everything we're gonna get some seraph tracers so what do we need for these again uh wings luminite bars of life core of calamity and the angel treads so we should be able to get the cores of calamity yeah we definitely can we fought the ravager a ton so we have enough for that and then i already forget it was luminite Cores of Calamity, Bars of Life was the other thing. Again, we fought the Ravager, <laughs> yeah, a lot. So we can go ahead and do this. Now, that'll be good enough. Let's put the treads in there. And then we already have wings inside. So we can go ahead and get the Seraph Tracers. There we go. So we'll be sure to get a good reforge on that. In fact, we just got armored. And I'm seeing six defense, interesting. So they buffed warding? Right? Because that's... Or like the defense boost. Because six is not... That's not right. <laughs> Plus six defense. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. I don't think anyone ever used warding. Or at least I never did. Only at the start of when I start, like began playing Calamity is when I was using warding. So, yeah. I don't know. We'll see what we can do about that. So that's the Seraph Tracers. We actually have a freed up accessory slot. We'll talk about that later. For now... I will put in this, I guess. So this weapon is called the Utensil Poker. And basically what it does is it just fires... I think it's an, it's just an assortment of utensils at uh, the enemy. And each one does different things. So I don't think you can control which one. But we'll, we'll explore that once we get it. It is just a 12% chance for Moonlord. So I think I'm just going to fight Moonlord here with our new upgrades. Should make it easier, that's why I decided to do this first before getting that. Also, what's this? Oh, call to summoning item. Interesting. So, let's buy some of those. Hopefully we get lucky and we get it within the first couple tries. You can die now. There you go. There you go. Alright. We did it. We did it. Alright, please. Uh, no, that's Lunar Flare. Nah, nope. Yes, 
You're dead. You're dead. There we go. Okay. Second, second Moon Lord defeated. What do we get? I want this weapon. I want this weapon. It's a 10% chance. It's pretty good. We can only get one, so I, I don't know. I guess it really works that way, but... Oh, no, not the... Okay, okay. All right, Moon Lord. We meet again. Dead. Dead, 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 dead. Moon Lord, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Moon Lord. Later. What do we get? Come on. Come on. Meow Mirror. No. No. I don't... No. Oh, this has to be it. This has to be it right here. Imagine how good that would be if we get this weapon right now. But no, we get another Lunar Flare. Because, yep, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Okay. And the moment of truth. Where'd it go? Treasure bag. Hello. There you are. Boom. Oh my god, another Meow Mirror. You're kidding. You are kidding. Come on, please, please. Just just once. Just 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 this one time. Let me get lucky, okay? That'll be that'll be so great. Of course not. Okay. <laughs> of course not. You know what? Never mind. Alright, well we tried. I mean I only did it six times, but that still took about twenty five minutes a half an hour which again it's not that long but I do want to move on to other things this episode so that's unfortunately all the the time I can spend there okay I forgot about this weapon <laughs> so a, n a number of you guys actually recommended the stellar contempt now this is an upgrade to the paladin's hammer the fallen paladin's hammer rather and we can just put it in there. I'm excited for this one. It looks pretty cool. God. No. no, no. Uh, stellar Contempt. So all you need is the hammer, Luminite, and some fragments. And then you can get it. So, wow, that damage just went through the roof. Unreal. There we go. That's the one I wanted. So, yeah, this is, this is the hammer now. Oh, you know what? Another thing where... Another thing to look into, another weapon, I don't know why I'm saying thing, we have the uh, elemental discs that we can get. I don't know if we can craft those yet, because we need the Galactica Singularities, which we can make a ton of. So, now can we get them? Nope, not quite. We're missing, oh, we're missing all of the weapons. How can that be? I wouldn't, oh no, no we're, yeah, what? We definitely, I thought we did get the seashell boomerang. Flame Scythe, Seashell, Mangrove. So we'll get this. Also, they changed that uh, sprite. Which kinda I kind of like it, actually. And then Seashell Boomerang. Oh, of course. Okay, no, we can probably get that. Yeah. There we go. Okay, good. No more grinding. This is This is what I like to see. So, we can just go and get the elemental disc for Rogue. There we go. And boom. We have these. Now, these weapons are pretty cool. When they hit enemies... Here, let me find an enemy to hit. I believe they do something cool. I think. <laughs> but, oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. This They, they kind of... Probably says. Has a chance to generate several discs if enemies are near it. Okay, cool. So, I'm actually going to get another reforge on this guy, and then we will continue on with everything else. Oh, there we go. That was really quick. Cool. So, we have these three weapons. I think plague nades aren't going to be all that useful. Well, they're still useful, but not the best of the, of the best, basically, is what I'm trying to say right now. Okay, Altix has actually given us a lot of accessories, which is good. I like this, because, yeah, our accessories are looking pretty lackluster, to say the least. So, what we can do is, the first one that I noticed that looked really cool, I actually looked into this before starting the episode, was the Moonstone Crown. Now, this accessory is new, I think. So, yeah, let me search it up. It's a new rogue accessory. And basically, you can get the Feather Crown. Now, this looks to be pre-hard mode. 
Like we should, we can make it right here. Uh, we're missing. Oh, we're missing feathers. Are you kidding? Okay. Uh, let's make the crown. Because we can definitely do that. Now this is just a platinum crown. You can use gold though. Right? Or or my stupid. Or do you do you seriously? Oh no. Yeah. Okay. You can. And then just six more feathers. So let me go get the feathers and we'll be I'll I'll be right back. <laughs> it spawned inside this hive up here. Oh god. Oh no. No! No! Are you kidding? It couldn't get out. I would start laughing at it, and now we got Martians invading. I don't even remember the last time I actually did the Martian madness event. Not since playing vanilla, and even then it's been a long, long time. So, yeah, I guess, I don't know. It's just not really worth it anymore. Lots of these events, anyways. Because there's just... No, there's just better ways to get everything. So, that should be enough feathers. Let me just head back. We're gonna have to deal with this. It's gonna be a pain. Uh, let's put that in. You know what? I'm gonna deal with the Martians now, and then I'll, I'll be right back. Nice. Okay. Well, Martians are uh, defeated. They're gone. Nothing left of them now. So we're gonna make the feather or the something crown. I thought it was feather crown. Probably just don't have everything. Sky mill. Okay. Okay. Now. Oh yeah, we can just straight up make it here. So, moonstone crown. Now this, as you can see, increases projectile velocity of by 15%. Stealth strikes summon lunar flares on enemy hits. Rogue projectiles very occasionally summon moon sigils behind them that look that sounds really good so let's put that on uh Altix recommended to re to replace it for well it's, there'll be a free slot so i think that so let's see oh yeah there they are you can see the oh that's so cool we just got like all these random projectiles just appearing around us it's so sick <laughs> I like it. All right, so next up we can take a look at the Celestial Reaper. Okay, so it turns out in order to get this weapon We need to have one platinum on our inventory like currently in our inventory. Sorry All right, so we have a platinum. So now I'm just gonna wait. I'm going to straight up wait until I'm gonna wait until we get the bandit in because we do have one platinum in our inventory and Skeletron is defeated or has been defeated. All right, so as you can see, we have the bandit right here. The bandit did indeed arrive. So we can get the Celestial Reaper, which looks pretty interesting. Apparently it's pretty, yeah, okay. Slow, long range, it doesn't appear to stop. I think it just goes on forever, it looks like. Yeah, okay, so that's good. On, en on hitting an enemy, the scythe will bounce backwards from the enemy. Stealth strike effects. Scythe creates damaging after images. Ooh. Okay, interesting. So, I kind of like that. So that is a good long-range tool. If we ever find ourselves needing one, which will probably happen. There we go. Okay, we got Unreal. So... Oh, it actually goes through blocks. I didn't even notice, so that's also really good. It also hits something, yeah, so it bounces back and forth on enemy hits. That is pretty cool. I'm gonna decide, I'm gonna opt to get the Abyssal Mirror next episode. And today, because we're not gonna be fighting Providence today, we're gonna be doing uh, Bumble Burb and Profane Guardian. So, because of that, we, we don't need to stack ourselves up too much. So I'm thinking we settle for the Dark God's Sheath. Hopefully we can get this. So silencing sheath shouldn't be too bad. So let's check that out. There we go. And then what else do we need? We need ruin medallion. We is this a drop? I feel like this is a drop. Oh, it's not. Never mind. So we need a coin. This coin deceit. Coin of deceit. Sorry. So coin of deceit. That we should just be able to make. What does it do, by the way? 6% increased rogue crit chance. Interesting. Uh, we can't, actually. Oh, that's right, because I haven't mined at all on this character. So gold and copper or tin. <laughs> I haven't mined anything on this world, so that's interesting. 
Don't even have that. We have tin, as you can see. Gold ore. Now, do I bother with getting more? I don't think so. I don't see myself using <laughs> ore after this. Never know, but probably not. Okay. Nice. Tin. Alright, so we can make the coin of deceit, and then with that, we can make the ruin medallion. And all those things combined can craft the dark god's sheep. There we go. We have everything. And that is our new accessory. So, this I'll probably replace with the arrowstone currently, I think is what we want to replace it with. So, let me just take this here. Okay, there's menacing. I am almost wanting to keep the arrow stone actually. Let's do let's do this. I know it might not be the smartest thing. I just really like the extra mobility that you get. So I might end up getting the heart of elements with the elements turned off as Altic suggested. Um but we'll probably do that next episode. So now we just have to fight I think it's Bumblebird first actually. No it's not. Okay it's Profane Guardians first. So, we shall go do that. It's going to be interesting to see if they're any different from what I remember. Eighteen. That's enough. That is indeed enough. Okay, well, we have the 18 shards necessary for this profaned shard. Summon item, so we're gonna get that. I don't want this to make- to take more than one attempt, so... <laughs> I'm gonna do my best not to die. Mind you, I usually do that, and it doesn't always work out well, so... We'll see, we'll see how this goes. So, yeah, we're just gonna do it here. And we're gonna try and stay in the biome. So, here we go. Alright, they're over there, so here is a good time to use this. That's a lot of damage we're doing. Just from, like, hitting it once. <laughs> Wait, this is actually working. Okay, now we're kind of cornered. Alright, hold on. What about this? Oh, yeah, okay. We're doing some good damage, but so are they. <laughs> uh. Nice. Alright, now this has a lot more health. This guardian, I believe. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. A lot more health. Okay. Alright. Oh my god! <laughs> my game is lagging so hard from all these elemental discs. Hold on. Let me throw a few more at him. And then do some of this. Alright, this is going good. I think if we get adrenaline, we're fine. I believe that is going to be the case. There we go. As long as I don't die here, we should be good. There we go, okay. That was nice and easy, just how I like it. So, now we have the profaned core. And we can do that, but not right now. I'm going to get more upgrades and do that boss next episode. But we still have one more boss to do, and that is Bumbleburb. Weird, right? So, we have Bumbleburb before Providence. So, that's in the jungle biome. And we're gonna go do that right now. So, how do we craft this then? Because before, wouldn't you need extra things that are not obtainable? Uh, oh no, I think it might have always been this. I don't remember. I can't say. Alright, so we should be able to get this for sure. So there we go, that's it right there. And let's put that away so I don't actually summon it. Alright, I'm nowhere near full health, and I don't actually... Is there a way to... <clears throat> no, I don't think so. Okay, so I'm not full health, and I just use a potion. But I still think we should be able to do this without too much trouble, because we do have a rage. So... Oh my god, you came out of nowhere. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, you guys didn't see that. No one saw that. What is happening to it? Look at it. 
Oh, no way. Is it still here? Oh, God. Is it still... No, okay, we're good, we're good. We're good. Uh, okay, screw waiting for rage. That was stupid. Uh, so we're just gonna make this again. Pretend that didn't happen. I guess staying uh, mobile is the way to go. Because I don't want to get just destroyed. Oh my god! There's so many of them. Although it's doing like no damage. Oh wait, where is that? Well, that's because I'm not even hitting it. I'm hitting the little, the little baby ones. Okay. So that's not very effective at all, is it? Okay. Alright, lots of damage. That's what I like to see. And I'm dead. Oh my god! What is this boss? What is going on? Okay. Um, although I'm still- I'm not doing much damage to you, am I? It doesn't matter how much damage I'm doing. As long as I'm going in a circle, but I still die. I still die. This isn't how this was supposed to go. This is not how this was supposed to happen, okay? I don't like this. I don't know. Don't have a potion! Oh my god, yes. Yes, die. Die. You have no business killing me ever. Ever, okay? I don't care how much you get buffed. You were not allowed to do that. Alright, okay. Bumbleverb has been defeated. Definitely... What is going on? Okay, I don't... <laughs> what is going on with that? That's so weird. Okay, something's glitching out mad, but... Uh, I hope we don't have to do this again. I'm gonna be honest. I'm pretty sure we get a rogue weapon from this. I I, I don't I don't wanna do it. Uh quite frankly, I'm I'm just done right now. So yeah, that's 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 the end of the episode. Uh Bumble Verb, it's gone. Ticked off. Never wanna revisit that ever again. Okay. Fun times. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.